What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Naima. I'm here watching American Idol. Just laying in the bed, and I wanted to share some information with you guys. I forgot that when I got my Tragus Pears, if you guys follow me here on my channel, you guys know I went to go get that done in Miami for my 30th birthday. But what y'all didn't know is that it keloid on me. Um, this is my first time experiencing keloids. I don't think that I'm a keloid. Um, you know, I don't keloid, but I think regardless of which, the tragus is a sensitive area, so that most likely will keloid. So, I did everything I was supposed to do. I cleaned it with the sea salt and warm water. You don't use regular salt. It has to be sea salt. You know, I kept it clean, so on and so forth. I would say about... Mmm... Um, about two weeks later, once I, you know what I'm saying, been, you know, having it in for a minute, that's when the keloids start to show up. I will insert a picture of the keloid, um, so you guys can see what they look like. Gross, right? So, as soon as I seen it, at first I thought it was a pus bump. Because, again, I'm not familiar with the keloids and how to, you know, how they come up or whatever. So, I'm like, oh, that ain't cute. So, I went on and went to YouTube and typed in, you know, Trey's person, keloids, whatever. So, of course, I came across like a thousand videos. So, majority of the videos, I will say most of the videos were telling me to use the salt, the sea salt and warm water, which I was already using. But... It also told me to try the tea tree oil, which I got from CVS. This is sold in like the nail department, the nail section where they sell like the stuff for your cuticles and stuff like that. This was only $8, I think. And basically, you just use this one to four times a day. Saturate the keloid with this tea tree oil. And I will say in about two to three weeks the keloid should disappear like literally disappear as you can see it's gone like it's nothing there it's gone it's totally like gone so shout out to youtube i'm so grateful i caught it before it actually just blew up on me and as y'all can see I use the mess out of this stuff and once the keloid went away I still kind of applied it on it maybe every other day maybe just twice a day but it says apply a few drops to desired area using fingers or a cotton swab I use a q-tip so I basically just dipped the q-tip in here and saturated the q-tip and just drenched it you know on the outside and inside of my ear um it does have like a menthol minty smell but it ain't nothing that you can't handle if you want to get rid of a keloid so again a hundred percent tea tree oil is your trick to get rid of your keloids on your tragus piercing i don't know about all of them but it worked on my tragus so yeah if you guys have any other questions or concerns let me know um i've had this it's been october november december january march it's on it's been actually five months yesterday since i had it pierced and i think um on my sixth month i'm able to switch out this hoop because i want to put a stud in there so I'll go to an actual tattoo shop where the piercers are to do that. So yeah, thank y'all for watching this random vlog video. And American Idol this season sucks. It really, really, really does. So yeah, talk to y'all later. Bye.